We always wanted to tell as much of the backstory as possible. And there's a very complicated relationship that June has with her mother. Come on, this country is going down the fucking tubes. It's time to get out in the street and fight, not just play house. I'm not playing. She was a certain kind of feminist that was very much of that time. You realize there was this great generation gap between them. For the first time we see Canada, it's so wonderful, but it's also so overwhelming that you don't have your family. You don't have people who have held you up your entire life. It's a refugee land full of people who have lost loved ones and have been through terrible trauma. You okay? I was in the army. And after everything, they turned us all into guardians. A week later, my unit is hanging bodies on the wall. One of them was a guy I dated in college. Even if you have some of the comforts that existed in one's previous life, you are carrying around guilt. And there can be no peace if there's no peace inside. At the end of this episode, June is trying to escape. And that proves to be impossible. Oftentimes, we're the most surprising when we just do what would really happen as opposed to the TV thing. It really is to try to find the suspense of real life. This is a country that's built so people don't get out. So she gets pretty darn close. But she doesn't get out. It's realistic. 